Hardcore is already pulling their men. Absolutely not. They can do this. Harrison can do this. Hey there, gorgeous. I have a confession to make. Recently, I've been addicted to a specific game genre, boomer shooters. Forgive Me Father, Deadlink, as you saw the other day, and even more niche ones like Viscera Fest. I can't be saved. It's okay. Don't even try. I'm just too far gone. Move on without me. But the subject of this video is the next boomer shooter style game I have my sights on. It's called Phantom Fury, being developed by Slipgate Studios who have developed such games as Rad Rogers and Bombshell, which I'm almost certain you've never heard of. This is their next foray into the gaming world. It seems that Phantom Fury continues the story of Harrison, their protagonist of the game Bombshell, which didn't really release to raving reviews. Sitting on a rough mixed on Steam, Bombshell is pretty well noted for its rough gameplay and lack of polish, but seems to have struck a pretty good chord in terms of its quality protagonist and overall graphical presentation. Even most of the negative reviews mention that they enjoy Harrison as a protagonist despite the game's shortcomings. Not to mention, it looks pretty damn good when it comes to those graphics because this is a 2016 game, and Phantom Fury only seems to have improved in terms of style. So, good thing Harrison is continuing on if she was the best part of that game. Not to mention, Bombshell came out back in 2016, and Slipgate have since helped develop many fantastic games. They were one of the studios who had a hand in the fantastic Ghost Runner game, and the pretty alright other boomer shooter Graven, which tends to either be great or horrible to you, there's not really an in between. Like people either love or hate this game, for real, it's kinda crazy. The reviews get a little unhinged. So yeah, they haven't made a game themselves as a studio in a little while, mostly acting as a backup team to do the extra grunt work for other studios, but it seems Phantom Fury is their next chance at the limelight, and I have high hopes for them. I mean, just look at this game. It's absolutely popping with character, and you can rest assured I'm damn certain I'm going to play it. It does seem to pick up right where the last game, Bombshell, left off, so if you want to prepare for this one thoroughly, feel free to play the older one first if you don't mind a little jank, but it looks like Phantom Fury is a pretty heavy reboot of their IP, so you're probably fine either way. They describe the plot of this new one like this. Taking place many years after her fight against Jadis Heskel, Shelley Bombshell Harrison awakes in a new world, pulled out of a coma at the behest of an old colleague with a new bionic arm. Tasked with securing a highly dangerous artifact, the legendary Demon Core, Shelley embarks on an intense journey around the US as she tries to overcome her own past to save mankind's future. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty fucking metal, and I'm here for it. Also, don't ask the voice that I was doing. I don't know the voice that I was doing, and we are moving on. It definitely seems to be going for that classic 80s action film vibe, especially with those 3D pixel graphics. Not to mention this cheesy action vibe is something I feel like we need more of in general. Although I get if the cheesiness isn't for you, but it's definitely something I can appreciate myself. It also already boasts over 20 unique weapons, with some weapons carrying over from the older game as well as some new ones. It also states that there will be a host of skills and upgrades you will unlock throughout the game, even including weapon mods and upgrades to really shake things up and allow some variety to your playstyle. Altogether, Phantom Fury has a fantastic vibe and seems to be already nailing that cheesy 80s style action game. If the gameplay can hold up as well as its style does, I have full confidence that this will be a hell of a good time. We can expect Phantom Fury sometime in 2020 but we don't have a specific release date just yet, so I'd expect it either in quarter 3 or 4, but most likely quarter 4. Anyhow, thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or just thought Phantom Fury looked cool, do give this video a lovely little like, and if you'd like to see more content like this, give that subscribe button a pixelated bop. But most importantly, have a goddamn wonderful day, and don't die. Still here once more, 
way. As I promised in my Dead Link video, I went and saw Evil Dead Rise, and it was fantastic, gory, messy, and a hell of a goddamn good time with a splash of that classic evil dark humor. I strongly recommend you give it a watch if you enjoy the Evil Dead franchise, or even if you don't know what the hell that is. It's a great jumping in point to this amazing franchise, and you will probably piss your pants. Not a guarantee, but definitely a probably. Alrighty, get out of here, and enjoy that day of yours. Mwah. Ba-doop-ba-ba-ba-dee-beep-ba-doop-boo-ba-dee-boo.